Welcome back, you beautiful souls, to I Love Balance. So today, I'm actually gonna be teaching you three different variations of my favorite super seed breakfast. Our number one is gonna be our blueberry super seed breakfast, number two is gonna be mixed berries, and number three is gonna be apple and cinnamon. So let's have a look. Basically, um, something I wanted to mention is I keep all of the jars, the glass jars that I use, um, because I want to reuse them so that I don't waste. So you could even have a little look down here. I have a whole bunch of random glass jars in there that I keep specifically to reuse in cases like this or to store things like um, the seaweed vegetable stock that we were doing earlier. So. Here, I'm gonna be taking the base, is gonna be exactly the same for all three breakfasts. So you wanna ideally make all three of them at the same time so that you have three breakfasts already set up for your week. So if you wanna do it on a Sunday or on a Monday, choose whichever day you wanna do it and then you know that you have breakfast for the next three days. So it limits your work, you don't have to do it over and over again, right? Now, it's the same, same base for all of them. So I love my three tablespoons of hemp heart seeds. So hemp heart seeds are super high in not only protein, but also in EFAs and essential fatty acids um, and tons of fiber as well. So really with three tablespoons of hemp heart seeds, you have eight grams of EFAs of essential fatty acids and you have 10 grams of protein. You wouldn't think that for such a wonderful little super seed, right? So here are raw hemp heart seeds, three tablespoons in each of them as a base. Now, now for the rest, for our pumpkin seeds, our sunflower seeds and our chia seeds, we're gonna use two tablespoons of each. So two tablespoons of our pumpkin seeds here this one and two one two da, 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 and done so you can see how doing this all at the same time is going to be a little bit more time effective than having to repeat the same thing every morning two tablespoons of our sunflower seeds and just a little side note here, all of my seeds are raw. So we, oops, I think I didn't put two in this one. <laughs> I got distracted. All right, so all of my seeds are raw here, okay? None of them, the sunflower seeds, they're not salted. None of them are roasted or any of that. They're all in their rawest form. And then our chia seeds here, as you can see, they're really tiny. But what's gonna happen is because we're gonna soak them overnight, they expand almost twice their size. So when I show you the end result or when you see the end results, it's pretty, um, it's pretty special, it's pretty fantastic. So we're gonna do two here, two here as well. So always keep in mind those seeds are really gonna expand. So you wouldn't wanna fill up your jar too, too much. Here. Excellent. So now we have our baseline for our three different variations. So those are exactly the same. Again, three tablespoons of hemp heart seeds, two tablespoons of sun sunflower seeds, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of our pumpkin seeds. And after that is what's going to be different at this point in time. So our first one here, I want to call it our blueberry super seed breakfast, which is my favorite one of all time because I love blueberries. Um, you have two options. You can use raw blueberries or you could use frozen blueberries, right? Um, if you use the frozen ones, you're going to see because I'm going to use the frozen ones today. I have some fresh ones, but I want to show you the change in color. It makes it really pretty. Um, so actually, even before going to the blueberries, what I'm going to do now is show you how I make my nut milk for each one of these. And if you haven't seen my previous video on how to make nut milks in a big batch where we use the actual nut milk bag to strain it and then keep it in the fridge for up to a week, this one here that I'm going to make is going to be in a little cup and I'm going to use that specific cup for each of those breakfasts, which in the end, we don't need to strain it because we actually want to keep the fiber. So I'm just going to 
use this nice little blend cup here. And my first one, I'm going to use almonds. So we're gonna change the nut milk just to make it different, just so you understand how easy it is. So in here, I'm just gonna put about a little handful of almonds. I'm not even gonna count them, just a little handful. I'm gonna put them in there. And then in order to sweeten it, so there's two things that you can do. You can either um, add the dates to the nut milk and then it's gonna sweeten it automatically, or you could just blend this up and chop the dates separately to add to the breakfast. I prefer to put the dates in there because it makes it easier and I don't have to chop them up. And as we all know, dates are actually really sticky. So it's a little bit of a hassle sometimes. So from here, I'm gonna take two dates. Um, as I mentioned in my nut and milk video, I actually like to just bite the seeds right out, but I'm not gonna do that for the purpose of this video. <laughs> so from here, I'm just gonna take the seed out, push it right out here. And now we're gonna turn on the water, make sure that it's cold. My Kangen water on the filter option again. I'm gonna fill this up to the max line. So right now I've got a handful of almonds and two dates in this here. And this is what we're gonna use for, let me keep this on, for our blueberry super seed breakfast. So let me just close this properly. We're gonna blend this all up over here. I love these little cups, especially when I make either my almond milk or sauces, dressings. All right, it's gonna be noisy. That's it, nice and easy. We don't really need to blend it up more than that because we're gonna be eating all of it in our super seed breakfast anyway. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna open it. Voila, nice and easy, look at that. You would think this is real milk, right? But it's even better. So now we're just gonna shift all of this in here. I wanna make sure that my dates and the extra fiber gets in there. There you go. So from here, I'm actually gonna grab a spoon and we're just gonna mix it up a little bit. We wanna make sure, we do wanna mix it up because as I mentioned earlier, the chia seeds really expand and if you don't mix it all together, they kinda of get all chunked up together. So you want it to be a little bit more um, free flowing. So we mix all of this up in here. And now this is when we're gonna add the blueberries. So I'm gonna use some wild blueberries here. As I said, I do have fresh ones in the fridge right now, but I wanna show you the beautiful color that changes. So I use about um, a cup, but I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm not really going to uh, measure it. So we're just gonna hope to not make a huge mess here. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Look at this chunk. I'm just gonna put it right through. I'm gonna add a little bit more. There you go. That's gonna be our blueberries. And then watch what's gonna happen when I mix it up. It's gonna become a super cool purple color. Look at how pretty it becomes. I love it. So now, technically this is finished. You could add a banana right away if you want. It depends how you like the texture of your banana. So if you add your banana right now and you soak it overnight in it, it's gonna be a lot more mushy in the morning. So you could either keep it like this, you put the top on, and as I said, I reuse my jars. So this actually used to be a Moroccan vegetable and chickpea soup, um, which is not the case now. Blueberry super seed breakfast. So basically you could add the banana in it. It'll be kind of soft in the morning or you could just take it out from the fridge in the morning. See, we'll put it right here. I've got tons of stuff in here. So I'm just gonna find a spot. And in the morning you take it out, you chop up your banana and you add to it so that it's not as soft, right? So done with the blueberry super seed breakfast. Now we're gonna go with our second option. 
So it's going to be very, very similar. The only thing that I'm going to do different is I'm going to change the nut milk. So, and the berries. The nut milk this time, let's use a cashew based one. So from here, again, just a little handful of cashews here, right? Put it in. We're going to use two dates, the same amount, to sweeten it properly. Two little dates here. And then again, we use the water. Clean water. Clean water. Noisy again. All right, so this time we have our cashew nut milk. Nice and simple, right? And it looks kind of the same. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Let's use those muscles. Ah, oh, ah, oh, there you go. All right. What happens sometimes is as it tightens as you're blending it up. All right, and voila. Now. Oh, this in here. Oh, try and get the fibers from the bottom. Excellent. So again, we want to mix it all up. Make sure that the chia seeds are well mixed in here. So now we changed the nut milk to cashew, right? But we still use the two dates. And this time I'm going to add some mixed berries. So we're going to have a mixture of raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries with the same option of adding the banana in the next day, but this time I'm gonna actually add the banana in right away. Um, oops. So from here, there's a little bit left in this one, and then I'm gonna add some more with this one. Might as well use what we have left, right? All right, so we've got some mixed berries in here. So some frozen blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries in here. They're all fresh picked and no added sugar, which is very ideal. So now those strawberries are going to be pretty full in there. I'm going to have some big bites of strawberries the next day. You like that? A few extra blackberries. So the beauty about frozen fruits is that, you know, sometimes here in Canada, things are not always in season. So when you buy them frozen like this, they've been, like it says, freshly picked and they're flash frozen right away. So you know that they're actually fresh. Sometimes when we buy them fresh, the amount of time that it takes for it to transport from one location to the other, the amount of time that it's in the grocery store, like you never really know how long it's been there. So we say it's fresh, but it's not as fresh. So you're actually safer with frozen berries. Like this. So again, this is gonna leave a nice little color. It should be a little more red this time because of the raspberries and strawberries. And this time I'm actually gonna add a banana right away. I'm just gonna cut it up. Um, I prefer to cut it in half and cut it all the way so that you have nice little even chunks. So just like this. Maybe don't necessarily do this at home, but this works really well for me. <laughs> Cutting it right down the middle. Boom. And here you go. So you have yourself a lovely mixed berries and banana super seed breakfast. For the blueberry one that we did earlier, um, I don't even find it necessary to add the bananas. I think that it tastes amazing without it. So here you go. So right now it looks really liquidy, 
but by the time that we soak it overnight, and the reason we do do that is because there's gonna be much more, so let me explain this, okay? Um, I wanna give an analogy in the sense of a woman carrying a fetus. When you're carrying a fetus in your stomach, your entire body, the sole purpose is for the child to survive. So this child is gonna try and take all of the nutrients out of the woman's body in order to survive. To be honest, the child doesn't really care about the woman itself. It's, you know, in the uterus and it, all it wants is, is the nutrients. So it's the same for a seed. A seed needs to be sprouted in order for it to grow. So when you put it in water like this, it starts the sprouting process. So it's almost like psychological, like, oh, oh my God, it kicks into action. All of a sudden, it, ne it knows that it needs to grow. So it's just gonna try, it holds on to the water and it becomes a lot more nutritious right away. The enzymatic activity goes up. So it's actually a good way to consume your seeds and nuts is when they've been soaked overnight like that. So that adds a lot to it. And like I said, once they have been soaked, they're gonna be a lot thicker and it's gonna be more of a thick consistency and not so liquid as you can see here. So this one again are mixed, oops, wrong one, are mixed berries and banana super seed breakfast. That was funny. Voila, we're gonna put this in the fridge as well. This one, this one. And now for our last version here. So we're gonna prepare again the nut milk right away. This time, let's use a different nut. We're gonna use um, macadamia this time just because we're actually gonna add some chopped up walnuts with the apple and some, some cinnamon for this one. So, same principle as always. We just grab a little handful here, boom, put them in. Turn the water on, fill it up. It doesn't really matter that there's still uh, fibers from the previous ones. It's not gonna make a difference in the taste. And actually, let's make this one a little special too, because I find cinnamon and vanilla mix really well together. So we're gonna add a little bit, just a little drop of vanilla extract in this one. All right, we're just gonna add a tiny, tiny little drop here. So tiny little drop, we're gonna be really careful because we won't, don't wanna drown it. There you go, it's done. Okay. I'm not gonna put it too tight this time because I'm kind of getting exhausted of struggling with all of my containers. It's gonna be loud again. Done. Wonderful. So as you can see, making nut milk is really easy. And in this case, we don't need to discard the fibers with the nut milk bag, we want to use them. We're going to eat them tomorrow, right? Aha, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add the dates in one, but that's fine. So here, excellent. So this one's not going to be as sweet because I didn't add the dates. So to make a little variation, we could add a little bit of maple syrup in there. But now from here, I'm gonna do a little mix, okay? So I'm gonna chop up some walnuts, I'm gonna chop the apple up, and I'm gonna chop up a little bit of dried apricots. And since I'm doing that, rather than add maple syrup, I'll chop up two dates to add them in there as well. So let's grab two dates here. Two dates. And I grab three dried apricots. of walnuts just like this and we're gonna rinse the apples so I'm gonna put this over here all of this here so if we chop it up I'm just gonna open it up like this discard the seed maybe 
go. See, it's a little bit easier when you do it with a knife <laughs> rather than with your fingers. So to chop up the dates, I'm gonna put them in little slices like that. And that'll add the sweetness. We're going to do similar with the apricots. Just like this. I'm do these ones at the same time. There you go. Here, and we're just going to crush them like this with the knife. Walnuts are a little bit easier to crush than uh, almonds or cashews. That's why I like to add them like this into my, my super seed breakfasts. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So from here, I'm just going to grab my jar. I'm going to bring it closer. And I'm going to rinse the apple nice and quickly. Scrub it good. It's organic, but as I mentioned in previous videos, you never know what happens to the apple once it leaves the farm. So, better off rinsing all of the unnecessary stuff that's on it. Et voila. This is actually one of those red delicious apples. I find they're a little bit sweeter than the green apples. I'm just going to cut them up like this. Oh, we're just gonna discard this here. Right. It would be a little bit easier with a smaller knife right now, but this is one the one I have, and I don't really like wasting my uh, dishes. Why use more water when you don't need to? Okay, so I'm gonna chop these up, but first I'm gonna add all of this in there. So really this is a question of preference, what size you like your apples to be. The same way for the banana, you don't actually have to split it in two. But if you like them smaller, might as well do it. All right, all of this in here. I'm gonna grab my spoon, mix it all up. So we've got our baseline of super seeds here, the three tablespoons of hemp hearts, two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, two tablespoons of sunflower seeds, two tablespoons of chia seeds that are the ones that are going to expand the most. We have a full apple in there, a handful of walnuts, and um, some dried apricot and dates because I didn't put the dates in the nut milk um, with the an amazing nut milk with where we added a little bit of um, vanilla extract as well to add a bit more taste to it. So now the only missing ingredient here is our cinnamon. Um, if we want, we could actually add the cinnamon now or we could add it in the morning. So it just depends uh, how much you like your cinnamon. If you add it in the morning, the taste, you're really gonna be able to judge the taste by adding a little sprinkle, mixing it up and seeing if you like it that way. If you add a bunch now and it's and it stands all night, it might be stronger than you would like it. So this is entirely up to you. I'm just going to add a little bit in mine. Mm, I love the smell and taste of cinnamon. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit like that. I'm going to mix it up again. And that's it. We've got our wonderful apple and cinnamon. Super seed breakfast.
boom, voila. And again, in the morning, it's gonna be a lot thicker and a lot easier to just dig in and eat. And the beauty of putting them in glass jars like that is that if you're in a hurry in the morning and I don't know, maybe you snoozed your alarm and you're running late for work, well, you could actually just pick it up from your fridge and take it to go. So at least you already have it ready. And if you're at home and you wanna pour it into a bowl or pour half of it into a bowl and keep the rest for, you, for later, it's entirely up to you. Like this quantity, could be, it's pretty high in calories, but it's all amazing nutrient dense calories. It could be good for one person only, or it could be good for you and someone else. It depends what kind of appetite that you have. I always say only eat about until you're about 70% full and never eat if you're not hungry, right? So awesome. I hope that you will enjoy the variations of all the super seed breakfast. It's really easy to do as you can see, and then you could do it all at the same time and you've got three days worth of food that's more than halfway through the week so we are on day two today and i'm actually going to show you what the super seed breakfast looks like on the second day so you're going to notice that i only have two jars today because i actually ate the third one early this morning so i couldn't wait it's so delicious <laughs> literally i kept my blueberry one so as you can see it's just a little bit the the chia seeds have really really expanded it's still a little bit liquid um but i'm gonna add an extra banana to it which is gonna change that as well so from here same as we did before oops just like that for now isn't the color beautiful here And then on the second one, the seeds have expanded really well and the apples have also soaked up. Here, let's just mix this up. Nice and thick. As you can see, those seeds are much, much thicker. They've absorbed all of this wonderful water. H2O is life. And then our second one, oh, it's gonna be hard to open because my hands are kind of slimy right now. In a second. And there you go. And now on our second one, we've got our apple cinnamon super seed. And once we mix it all up here, you can see how nice and thick the consistency is in here. You could even see from here, you know, it's wonderful. This is gonna taste absolutely delicious. So yeah, once again, we have our blueberry super seed and our apple cinnamon, and I ate the mixed berries and banana ones this morning. Uh, guilty as charged. So this is what it looks like, and it becomes, uh, as I mentioned, a little bit thicker, and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful breakfast to have. So now you have three more days where you get to eat these. <laughs>